qui s'en va d'une chanson. Elle est née dans une dans le cœur d'un garçon. Sous le ciel de Paris marche des amoureux. Oh, hello! Welcome to my second Facebook Live, La Joie de la Tatata. Today we're going to be with my belle maman again, my mother-in-law, where she's going to teach us how to prepare la tatata, the famous apple tart, the specialty of France. And uh, we'll, we'll go through just like we did last week, ingredient by ingredient. And like last week, at first I'm going to read a little passage from my new book, Let Them Eat Pancakes, right here. And this passage is about how much my belle maman spoils me rotten with her cooking, right? And uh, this, is, this passage takes place in the beginning of our relationship, Juliet and I. And you'll see uh, what it was like at that time. Okay, it's a couple minutes. Here we go. By the time Julie and I had moved in together, my belle maman was already spoiling me rotten with her delicious culinary creations. Every month or so, she would take the TGV, or the high-speed train, up from Dijon to visit Julian and me in Paris. On her first visit, we went to meet her at the Gare de Lyon, the train station. After giving each other the customary bees on each cheek, I tried to lift up Elizabeth's king-size suitcase, only to keel over, almost getting our hernia. Oh la la, belle maman, what's in here? It weighs a ton. Well, that's exactly what the nice man on the train said when he was helping me get my valise up onto the overhead rack. What do you got in there, madame? A chopped up body? The man wasn't that far off the mark. Once we got back to our apartment, Elizabeth unloaded the contents of her valise. Like Ma Mary Poppins and her magic bag, she reached inside and pulled out stacks upon stacks of cookware. A le creuset en cocotte, a braising skillet, dessert molds, and metal escargot trays replete with ghastly desnailing tools, all of which was not a not-so-subtle way of pointing out that Julian and I did not have the necessary equipment to match Elizabeth's culinary skills. But that wasn't all. Elizabeth had already prepared most of the meals for the weekend, ahead of time, sealing them up in her pots and pans for the one-and-a-half-hour trip from Dijon. After making sure that nothing had spilled out, Elizabeth dug into her purse, pulled out a decorative piece of, a piece of parchment paper, and began reading the note she had written on it. Voilà le menu. On Saturday, the starter will be a scallop tata with a white wine coulis, followed by the main course, parmentier de canard, topped with comté cheese au gratin. Sunday's menu will include foie gras and mini toast with a gelée de gewürztraminer, a, gewürztraminer. Gewürztraminer, a white wine as the starter. Boeuf bourguignon with my secret ingredient, bien sûr, for the main course, followed by a selection of seasonal fromage. And if you still have room, Elizabeth smiled at me, dessert. A recipe I've been wanting to try out for some time now. Miroir au cassis, a black currant flan. Mon Dieu. And to think, Elizabeth hadn't even gotten to the wine list yet. So there you go. That's my little passage from the book. Gives you an idea of how well my mother, Belle Maman, feeds me and Julian. But... Luckily, with our new apartment here, which so many of you asked about, Julian, you can maybe do a little scan around. It's just been renovated. We now actually have the equipment to do the cooking. So Elizabeth doesn't have to lug everything up in her suitcases. So that's the good news. So Elizabeth, let's make her now. Come on in, Julian. This is new, our newly designed kitchen. Voilà, belle. Bonjour, belle maman. Bonjour, Craig. Je suis très content que tu es avec nous encore. So happy you're here with us again. Mais c'est un plaisir partagé. N'est-ce pas? Okay, what are we going to talk about today? De quoi parle-t-on aujourd'hui? I'm going to translate. Nous allons parler de la tarte des demoiselles, des sœurs Tatin. We're going to talk about the apple tart made from the, the sisters, the Tatin sisters. Okay, so where does the tart come from? D'où vient cette tarte? Alors, ces, ces tartes viennent de Sologne. À trois heures en voiture de Paris, au sud-ouest de la France. Okay. It comes from the Salon region of France, which I actually didn't know, or don't know very well, which is to, uh, this, about three hours by car to the southwest of Paris, down by the Loire region, which you all know from the chateaux and all this. And uh, décris un peu la région Sadogne. Alors là, Sologne... Describe a little bit the region of Sadogne. Yeah. La Sologne, donc, est une région très réputée pour son gibier, très giboyeuse. Ah, si. Ah, j'adore. I love this word, giboyeuse. So the region is very well known for um, hunting, 
where people go to hunt deer and uh, and uh, wild boar and all the all the game hunting. Super. And c'est quoi l'histoire de cette tarte? What is the history of the tarte tatin in this region? Alors cette tarte, euh, disons que en Sologne, les chasseurs viennent chasser et font de bons repas très copieux. Okay. So, but this goes back to the 19th century, 1878, 1878, voilà. when the hunters would come down from Paris to to uh, to do their hunting, and there would always be a great meal uh, at, to follow. Et on va parler un petit peu des des sœurs oui. tatin. So, de qui un peu les sœurs tatin et comment ils jouent dedans. How the sisters play in this. Alors, les sœurs Tatin ont racheté le restaurant de leurs parents en 1878. Elles préparaient donc des repas copieux donc pour ces chasseurs euh, right. bourgeois. Right. Et... So the bourgeois avec un apple tart. Ça terminait toujours avec un tart avec à pomme. Pomme. Mais un jour. But the big bite one day. Fanny, une des sœurs, Fanny, one of the sisters, aperçoit des pommes épluchées. Right. She just uh, peeled all the palm, uh, the apples, and got everything ready and put it in, les, in her precipitation, her hurrying around because it was a big meal and lots of people. Elle les met tout de suite dans la ta, dans le moule à tarte, avec le beurre et le sucre et au four. And she stuck everything in with the butter and the sugar and stuck it into the oven. Et lorsqu'elle sent l'odeur de caramel, oh mon Dieu! And the moment she smelled the caramelized uh, apples, that's the wonderful odor, she went, oh my god, I made a mistake. J'ai oublié la pâte. I forgot the crust. I didn't put the crust in. Elle recouvre vite de la pâte, elle met au four. So she covered quickly to cover up her mistake, she put the, the, the pastry, the, um, the crust on top of the apples, put it back in the oven. Et quand la pâte est cuite, elle a une idée géniale. And once the, the, the um, crust was cooked, she had this great idea. And what was this great idea? C'était quoi? C'était une idée ingénieuse, ingénieuse, une ingenious idea. De retourner la tarte sur un plat et la tata est mise. Right. So basically, like a turnover. She flipped the thing, the, the tart over, so that the uh, crust was on the bottom, but now the caramelized onions were all on top. Caramelized apples, Sorry, right? Did I say onions? Yes, you <laughs> did. Caramelized apples. <laughs> caramelized onions. Alors, yes. cette, alors cette tarte est restée très longtemps régionale, mm. un peu secrète, car soi-disant difficile à préparer. Mm. And so for many many years, this this uh, recipe and this tarte ta stayed kind of regional, like a little bit of a secret. Of course, this is before social media and all these things, so we just people would know it from that region, but it didn't really spread out until when? À quelle époque ça devient un peu plus connu? En 1950, le restaurant parisien Maxime le met, la met à sa carte. So in 1950, Maxime's restaurant, which I'm sure you've all heard of, uh, added it to their menu. And then what happened? Qu'est-ce qui se passait après? Et c'est le début de la notoriété de la tarte tata. It was the begin of, beginning of the notoriety of the tata. Parce que les journalistes s'emparent de la recette, ils publient dans les journaux et dans les magazines de cuisine. And so the journalists, and it was a big media frenzy, and it just became uh, a big, big deal here in Paris. This beautiful new apple tart. Si bien que les habitants de Sologne, à qui la, où la tarte tata est née. Right. So, of course, the people in Sologne were a little um, concerned about this in the area, they grew, in the region of Sologne. Why? Étaient un peu fâchés, et donc ils ont créé. They were a little uh, uh, fâchés, like a little annoyed that the, all the attention was going up to Paris. So they decided in 1950 to put together what? La confrérie donc de la tarte tata. So they put a fellowship of the tatata together to to afin de garder donc l'origine et bien de la Sologne pour la tarte tata. As is often mm -hmm. in France, they really wanted to make sure that that it was recognized that that's where it came from from that region and that they got the the, the kudos for having invented it and having uh, come up with this whole recipe and so it became C'est quoi exactement quand tu fais... Uh, une confrérie uh, Ouais, non, mais quand tu décides que c'est un... Uh, uh, when you decide at one point that this is going to be a special regional dish. Donc ça le protège ou ça... Voilà. Is Alors, it protected pour, or what is it? Voilà, c'est pour protéger la, la recette et l'origine de la recette pour qu'elle ne soit pas gagnée. Uh, voilà, trop... So to protect the recipe and that you stick to it and that it stays the, the, the high quality. It is these kinds of things that, that keep the quality of French wine, the quality of everything, so high because they really want to make sure that 
you stick to the to the good ingredients and all this, and so it's part of the whole certification of France, of of uh, uh, patrimon, important items for the for the country, cultural items. So when was the first time you had? C'était quand la première fois que tu as mangé un tartatin? Alors la première fois que j'ai découvert la tarte tatin, c'était au au cours d'un thé avec deux amis. J'étais ah. invitée par deux amis. À quelle année? En 1978. Okay, so it was when she, it was around, when she was living in Burgundy, around 1977, 1978, some friends invited her for tea, and she got to discover for the first time the ta ta ta. And coincidentally, that year, par coincidence peut-être, en 1978, qu'est-ce qui se passait? La confrérie. Ah, la confrérie, la voilà. création de la confrérie en même temps. <laughs> so oui, there oui. you go. Interestingly enough, it was around the same year that the, uh, the fellowship came together oui, and decided année. to même année. Oui, même année. So. Ben, c'est pour ça, ça que ça a peut-être donné l'impulsion de m'offrir cette tarte que je ne connaissais pas. Maybe that's pas. what gave them, mm. the, her friends, the impulse to show her this, mm. the, to make her discover this new uh, apple tart. But uh, et après que tu l'as mangé. Ah, j'ai toujours. Well, after reading it. J'ai été tout de suite séduite et je n'avais qu'une envie, c'est de la préparer pour ma famille et mes amis. Yes. So she was so seduced by it, she had just one goal, was to make it for her friends and family. And now I happen to be family, so she made it for us. So here we go, we're going to talk now first about the ingredients. What are the, it's rather simple actually. So what are the ingredients of the ta ta ta? Indicate one by one and I'll translate. Ok, c'est quoi les ingrédients et tu, tu, tu présentes oui, par un, voilà. un, une, un, voilà. un, un par un, un par un, un ingrédient. Alors, important, le sucre. Very important, of course, is the sugar. Et quelle sorte de sucre c'est Sucre roux. Sucre roux Oui, voilà. Bien, c'est sucre roux. Sugar can. Sugar can. I was going to say sucre de canne, but that's the sucre roux. Voilà. And this Sucre roux et beurre pour faire le caramel. And, of course, butter. Can you say that word again, tu peux le dire ce moment là Voilà. Tu peux dire beurre, et beurre et du beurre. Yeah. Du I beurre. get her to say that word anytime I can. Allez-y, encore une fois tous les deux. Allez, sucre roux et beurre. <laughs> le beurre. Everyone repeat after me. Que ferions-nous en France sans le beurre? What would you do in France without the butter? Okay, what else are the ingredients? Et ensuite les pommes. Of course, the beautiful voilà. uh, apples here, as you can see in, in France, they are just so gorgeous and plump and delicious looking. Alors les pommes que je préfère golden, il faut une pomme qui se tienne bien. Okay, she prefers these apples, you, you can use other apples if you like, but she prefers these ones because they hold together well, ça se tient voilà. bien, c'est oui, ça? Oui, bien ferme. Okay, and mm. what is this, c'est quoi ça? Et la crème fraîche qui accompagne la tarte tata ah. à la sortie du four. And the crème fraîche, which you're seeing more and more in America, it is kind of like a French version of, of sour cream, of course, I'd probably people say, no, no, it's not that. But it is uh, uh, very, very delicious, and uh, I don't know, you know, you have to come to France to get the real crème fraîche, uh, which she puts on top. And then this plate here, what is that? Alors là, c'est une petite présentation, donc de caramel avec les pommes, et donc qui passe au four avec okay. la pâte. So she just wanted to show you a little bit about what it would look in the oven, because since we're doing this live, we can't do every single uh, step, we don't have enough time. But you can see the caramel, caramel on the bottom and the apples on top. So what she does is she puts it into the um, into the uh, moule, uh, mm-hmm. yeah. pan, oh, yeah. into mm-hmm. the, the pie pie pan, and uh, puts the, the caramel on the bottom, the sugar and the, the sucre beurre on bottom, oui, the sugar voilà. and butter on the bottom. Puts the palm right on top, mm-hmm. just directly right on top. Et puts it part. in the oven. Mm-hmm. Et la part, par dessus. Et la part par dessus. Uh, voilà. And put the crust right on top. Mm. And then Et au four. Put it into our beautiful new oven. 180 yes. degrés. 180 degrés. Voilà. Chaleur tournante. How much is that uh, again? Oh, you mean in your Celsius? Uh, I'm sorry, Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit. You can hit Google to translate. 180 Celsius. It should is be 350 something. 350 yeah. or so Fahrenheit. Yeah. Right. And so then what happens? Uh, oh, can we just confirm exactly what kind of apple was it? It was a golden apple. Yeah. Golden. Golden. Exactly. Golden. Yeah. <laughs> Golden. Perfect. So Thank what, you. What happens inside the oven when the uh, when it's cooking? Because this is very interesting. Qu'est-ce qui se passe dans le four? Alors, dans, alors dans le four, il se passe quel, un, une chimie, un, un plaisir, parce que le 
Right. There's a chemical reaction, a great pleasurable thing happens. Voilà. Parce que le caramel et le jus des pommes, ça fait tout un ensemble qui, qui, yeah. bon, euh, qui colore, qui, voilà, so et qui rend les pommes très yeah. fondantes. Right. And so the juice from the apple and the, the sugar and the butter and the caramel all come and they absorb themselves into the apple. They say absorbé dans le pomme, n'est-ce pas? Oui, voilà, absolument. So the pomme becomes caramelisée. Voilà, exactly. caramelisée. Voilà. Mm -hmm. And then you, for how many minutes? Combien de minutes c'est dans le four? Oh, 30 à 40 minutes. 30 à 40 mm -hmm. minutes, voilà. ok. Et puis, uh, 30 à 40 minutes. Et donc, nous avons juste happen to have done that pour 30 à 40 minutes. Et, uh, do you want me to grab it, oh, Julian? Bring it sure, over? why don't you do And so? Julian's going to join us at the end because a lot of people want to see him, not just be our cameraman. But, uh, <laughs> uh, so, here, this is literally just out of the oven about 5 or 10 minutes before wow, we start voilà. cooking. Ready? Voilà. Ready? Un, deux, trois. Wow. And what are we going to do with this, Craig? What are we going to do? Of course, we're going to cut it and make a beautiful slice here, the maman. Mm. There's a plate. Here she goes, cutting into it. You're going to see the lovely juice and the mm. caramel. Mm. And we need the plate now. And the plate right now. Et un deuxième couteau. Et un deuxième couteau. Oui. Et ça, la spatule Oui, c'est OK. Et ça. OK. Et ça. Nous avons une question de Mindy. Do you use store-bought pastry Do you use store-bought uh, pie crust? Or the pie, pie crust, crust maybe, yes. Um, it That's depends, you can go either way, uh, right? C'est ce que tu, tu, tu achètes la pâte uh, déjà fait. Uh, Où est-ce que tu l'as fait? fait? Either one, she's done both. Il sera communiqué. It's how you do, want to do it. Um, mm -hmm. uh, there's, here in France, I believe it's not considered a gauche or bad to use the pâte by in the store, no. right? We call, see, time, <laughs> we call that saving time, Craig. We call it saving time. So uh, no, don't worry at all if you want to use some your actual uh, pie crust from the store already. Uh, it's not a problem at all. Voilà, here you go. And uh, Julian, you're going to uh, come join in this scene as we eat. As I am eating the pie? Oh, yeah. thank you, Greg. Let <laughs> me get a fork. Sorry, guys, we forgot a couple of the props. <laughs> but we're going to do them right now. Almost done here. Here you go, Vermont, Julien, et moi. Okay, un peu de crème fraîche, par moment. Tu ah. peux mettre un little bit of non, crème fraîche. Moi, je préfère naturelle. Tu préfères naturelle. Voilà. Allez. So, how can we have the pie besides the crème fraîche? Oui, so what else so can we? What else can we do? Qu'est-ce qu'on peut faire d'autre avec la crème fraîche? Donc, naturelle, crème fraîche ou glace à la vanille, une boule de glace à la vanille. Oh, you can mm. put vanilla ice cream, which is how they served it the last time uh, we were together, which is wonderful. Une tarte, or, une tarte or, chaude avec une boule de la glace. De and glace à and la vanille. actually, you can serve it with chantilly too, with a, with a, Cream, right? Mm -hmm. Avec le chantilly, uh, aussi, également. Right. Oui, so, oui, bien sûr. Mais Madame Maman préfère cette naturelle. Elle ne pas le sour cream. Oh, sorry, c'est Olivier qui m'a aidé. Crème fraîche. Crème fraîche. Elle ne veut pas ça sur sa tête. Donc, allez-y, Madame Maman, dis-moi ce que tu penses. Vas-y, écoute. Oui, je ne suis pas inquiète. Tu n'es pas inquiète du tout, hein? Oh, my, my, my. Look at the color on this. I have a great suggestion to make. What about Calvados from Mindy? Ah, what about Calvados? Si on peut mettre Calvados dedans? Oui, pourquoi pas? Well, why not, she said. <laughs> <laughs> on peut mettre un petit peu de cannelle aussi sur les pommes. And you can put a little bit of uh, mm -hmm. a cinnamon. cinnamon on top mm -hmm. if you like as well. Mm -hmm. Julian, let's get you in the camera. Can you do your famous uh, inclusion in? Sure, I can try to do that. Let me see. I actually don't need a stick because I have a long arm. And here we go. Here's Julian. Julian here, please take a bite. Hi, everyone. We finally get to see Hi. Julian. Here you go, I'm going to hand you the camera, Kirk, so I can actually take a bite. Here you go. Okay, so you I come. have a question, actually, for uh, Elizabeth. You're going to keep on to say for me. Thank you. So the question is, la question c'est, est-ce que la tarte tatin se fait uniquement avec des pommes, ou est-ce qu'on peut utiliser autre chose que des pommes? <coughs> oui. Oui, oui. Qu'est-ce qu'on peut utiliser d'autre eh On peut utiliser des poires, ouais. des coins, des figues. You Super. Can, so you can use all different kinds of fruit if you want, not just apple. 
you can have pear. You can use fig. Yeah. You can use, uh, what else? Did you say? The poire, the pomme, the fig. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much it. And you talked about caramel's onions. So that was a cute little mistake. <laughs> <laughs> but not so much a mistake because actually we can do also savory version of the pie. Oh. We also the version salé. Salé, oui. Par exemple. Hello, Will. So do you hear all that, everybody? You can also do it with um, onions, and then you can make a savory tart, mm -hmm. which caramel, it's caramelisé quand même, n'est-ce pas? Voilà. Alors, Julien, le verdict, attends, mm. let me get that nice and close up on that. And then go on. Délicieux. Délicieux. Repeat, everybody. Délicieux. I think I'm going to come back. <laughs> you think you're going to come back? <laughs> All right, so all three of us, ready? One, two, three. We're going to sing you out while we go out to the window. Sous les pieds de Paris marche des amoureux. Ooh, la, 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 la. Thank you all so much for tuning in. We had so much fun. I hope you did too. Julia? A bientôt. <laughs>